This is a Full Circle Podcast show production. 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 Crime. Crime. Let's get it together. Education. Let's get it together. Marriage. Let's get it together. Politics. Let's get it together. Full Circle. Poverty. Poverty. Let's get it together. Race. Race. Let's get it together. Full circle. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Full Circle Podcast Show, episode number 71. I am Daryl E. McCullough, the same poet, and the songstress, Carmen L. Miller, and Erica D. White, the fitness guru, were both tied up today. Uh, 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 they left me, what did I hear when I was in Cleveland? They left me out Chia. Do they still say that in the streets? <laughs> out Chia? Um, I'm, I'm not, I, I haven't heard I just think of while. Chia seeds when you say oh, that, so okay. I don't well, know exactly. any other reference. They left me out here, but <laughs> Sonia Flunder McNair, the owner of Sonia Organics, came through. You've been on the show before, and I yes, want to I tell you, I appreciate it. And yours. Well, I thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's a pleasure. So um, we have, uh, you know, we're going to have a great show. We have an in-studio guest, the health activist and owner of Bucci Mama Probiotic Tonic. Uh, Toledo's own Stacy Jurich. Jurich. Yeah. Did I say that correct? Jurich, yeah. Okay. Hello. Good job. Good job. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me. How, how are you? I'm doing great. I uh, have had plenty of time at home, locked in in the from the cold this last couple right. days. So Ooh. I've been uh, catching up on rest and feeling good. Awesome. You know what? When I come into your store, and we're going to get into your business and everything, of course, because you are the focus of the show and what you two ladies being entrepreneurs, she's always busy. She's always busy back there. Yeah, she you is. Know? And I'm expecting, you know, I'm kind of like a little celebrity. And I'm expecting, the, you know, all kind of attention and everything. She's always back there busy, you know. And Got to keep that. my head down. Got to keep the work work going. You you have been busy. I do know that. Yes. And and you got some good things. Uh, so I cannot wait to discuss this. Absolutely. Um, but, um, you know, so we're going to get into uh, having another fun and exciting uh, show from a perspective of a liberal, conservative, and independent state of mind. Um Today's topic we chose to discuss is how I became an entrepreneur producing kombucha. And uh, uh, if, if you're hip and you're cool, I think everybody should know what kombucha is. I just found out about it two weeks ago, but I love wow. it. Wow. No, 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 honestly. I was about to say, no. Daryl, you're been, so uncool for that. I mean, I mean, what? I got my leather coat. Speaking of leather coat, it is freezing. Yeah, you can't wear leather right now. It Literally. is freezing. And I want to apologize. I am, I'm not glistening like I normally am. Yeah, you don't have on any uh, Sign Organics I don't. signature shea butter. You know why? Because That you can buy at Bucci Mama's. That I will. But here's the thing. <laughs> I have a change. I have a complete yes. change of clothes in my car. You look good, though. Well, I mean, well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> you know how to take that. And I have my little bag with my toiletries in there and everything. My wife calls it my whore bag. I don't understand <laughs> oh why she God. says that. <laughs> But I pulled my lotion out and it was it was frozen. It yes. is it was minus twenty one here. Well, uh, when I left Michigan, that's because it had water in it. So you need a Sonia Organic shea butter in your little. I'm not going to repeat it, but your yes. little bag. Well, yes, your bag. well, here's the thing. I want that. I need that. But does it have glitter? Because I need a little shine. Oh my God. Does it have glitter? You have to provide that oh. yourself. <laughs> wow. All right. So we're going to have a great show, of course, and we're going to have some awesome comments and encouraging words for entrepreneurs coming up. But before we begin, we want to thank everybody for our shout outs, uh, for, for the shout outs, for listening to and sharing the episodes with their family and friends. Also liking our Facebook page and subscribing to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher and our YouTube channel. We got a few more subscribers on YouTube and I'm like, what's going on? Oh. So, I mean, you know, YouTube is just such a hard, That's excellent. it's hard to break into YouTube. Yeah. You know, it's hard, but, um, you know, oh, you know what? I said something about Facebook, something else happened and, you know, 
Despite me being uh, almost a celebrity uh, status on Facebook with all the friends and everything, <laughs> when I get uh, uh, a Facebook request, I check them out. Okay. I just I go to their page and I I, I scrutinize them. What are you looking for? The crazies. <laughs> You can you tell know, that by looking at the page. Well, Darryl. here's the thing. Give me, give me. I'm going to go to their page and check them out for about three minutes. You can tell. Okay. I can tell by their <laughs> conversation, and I'll accept or decline. Now, um, I sent someone a request. I'm going to say maybe two years ago. They accepted my request today, and it was it was it was it was Stacy. It was not two years ago. Stacy, <laughs> I sent you a Facebook request, and I would check on it. <laughs> I, I would can't check on you it. Throw me under the bus like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's here. It's here in the notes. He had to message me. Like, do you, you have know, do you have zero your, pending friend your. requests in your? Yeah, because I'm, I'm trying. I'm you celebrity either, status. You either you either just go She's right just to accept busy. or de decline. I check them out. I was like, she is really checking me out. I mean, what am I doing wrong? For two years, I didn't check you out. I'm, okay, well, I appreciate it. She's I just feel, so I, busy, Daryl. That's all. Don't take it personal. We gotta we gotta be friends in real life. Well, right. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So I so Well, I guess he's we made it official sensitive. today. You know, look at him. Aw. Mm, I brought you okay. a kombucha. You right. did. You did. And and this is the coolest thing. Mm -hmm. And and I cannot uh uh you know what? Um we'll we'll get into the, the normal format of the show, but I have gotta tell you how I enjoy your product. You know, that's why I wanted to have you on the show. You know. I, I uh, and, and I'll tell you how I was introduced to kombucha and everything. This is going to be so much fun. Cool. Okay. Now, um, we also want to thank our sponsors, Three Kings Clothing. Uh, it's an apparel company that supplies uh, clothing with a connection of pop culture and current events. Check them out, threekingsclothing.com. And also, if you have any questions about our show, and if you want to be a sponsor, you want to sit in a seat like this, uh, contact us, fullcirclepodcastshow at gmail.com. So let's get right into the show. So what's going on in the world, Daryl? Well, um, you know, we, we'll talk about uh, last podcast, as we always do. And that topic was dealing with family during the holidays. Yes. Um, that was a very fun show. We had uh, Erlene. The queen. The queen cookie, Mac Belcher. Yes. She was hilarious. After mm -hmm. she... she, she digested me like you know looking I'm around sure. like okay this dude i don't know how to take him <laughs> and then after then she, sure. then she she we warmed love up queen cookie oh she is just the sweetest yes we now, love her now who introduced me to her erica erica of course i gotta give her props and i i clown we, we 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 play with each other on the show she has introduced me to some great people her and carmen have introduced me to some really great people in the Toledo yes. area. Yes. Y'all, y'all all right. I'm from Ooh. Cleveland, and y'all kind of got my back more than Cleveland people. Okay. Quite a step. Nice. That's a nice shout out. <laughs> so I, I appreciate that. Okay. Now, um, uh, I don't know the holidays. How were the holidays for everybody? You know, uh, I only I only celebrate uh, Kwanzaa. I think that's what it's called. That's the only thing I celebrate. Yeah, you're probably going to be the only one talking about this. <laughs> we we it just flew by for us, you know. We I talked to Stacy and she was like, you know what holiday? <laughs> she works constantly, you know. We just well, my my husband know. Ben is a Christmas baby, so his birthday is on Christmas. Okay. So we always try to make it extra special. Mm. He does a lot of cooking. What? So he, he, that's how he likes I to didn't celebrate. Know that. Yeah, he's a Christmas baby. Speaking of food, my mother made a Yum, pumpkin pie to die for, and she had potato salad with raisins. Um, Yuck. It was, why would you say that about my mama's <laughs> oh, food? Oh no, not not about. I mean, I'm no, sorry. No, we, we don't do that. I'm we, just I'm, saying I'm, raisins. I'm joking. I'm joking. But there are people <sighs> who have potato salad with raisins in it. I somebody gonna be like, just... somebody gonna be like, why I have that? Right, I'm, it's just personal, huh? No, never we, heard we, of it. We had a great time. We had a great time. <laughs> um, you know what? We said that um, we would um, kind of omit the 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 politics and talk about some other enlightening things that are going on in the community. Is that correct? Yes, we so, did. So I'll just say two things. Um, I know we know, I know we're dealing with the ups and downs of this government shutdown. So uh, just to 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 beat that, I'm getting my taxes filed like. <laughs> 
next week. <laughs> Give me my money. I need it. I need it. You know what? Um, this last year was challenging for me. I acquired some property and this and this and that. I sold that property, and I'm about to be a. I'm about a a, a mistake away from being a regular person. I need my money <laughs> from the from the government. You know what I'm saying? One more mistake. I mean, like the brakes need to be done or something. I'm gonna be a regular person. I, I whatever that means. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> well. Okay. The normal so, people. Yeah. So what you got? What you what 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 do you have what, uh, to talk about? What's going on? So we do have some um, uh, events going on in the community. From the Toledo Lucas County Sustainability Commission, we have a partnership with the USGBC Ohio Northwest Regional Team as we host quarterly luncheons focused on sustainability topics important to our region. And we have a panel of local experts that will be presenting at each event with a focus on food, fitness, facilities, and financing. So that will uh, be on February the 14th downtown at the Blarney, so you can get tickets at the uh, on Eventbrite. Oh, cool, cool. You know, I, I haven't, because I, I, yes, I work in Toledo. I, I know a lot of people in Toledo, but I live in Michigan. And I don't, I don't hang out a lot in the Toledo area, except uh, I'm, I'm very fond of Ramona Collins. So when she has so an event, don't tell Carmen, please. <laughs> it's, it's not a good subject, you know? Um, no, and I've seen Carmen perform too. Carmen but, is hot. I, I don't like when you say hot because I look at her like a sister. Hot. <laughs> but she put a picture on Facebook and it was kind of, it made me feel funny. What? She it's, must really, yeah. It was like she, low cut and I was like, oh. Like little sister. She made you feel some type of way. Yeah, I don't, I didn't like it. And I've seen her perform and, you know, she That's gets very. That's she has been looking super hot hmm. then. And I was yeah. like, ooh, I can't do this. I did Carmen take a snapshot of that picture though. I got to hear her sing sometimes. Yes. And then Carmen is a hater also. <laughs> I hate to say that. I, is it, I hope this isn't being recorded. <laughs> Carmen is a hater. I can sing. No, she's and not. And Carmen has never, during her performance, everybody, oh, Daryl McCullough, come up and sing. Um, never, not oh, one time. Yeah, this is your, she's a this is your thing. That's, that's Carmen's, yeah, that's Carmen's thing. All right. <laughs> yeah. We could, we could sing some duets and stuff like that. Ooh. I saw Carmen duets. Yeah, let her stick to what she's doing. Okay. Now, you know what? You, you want to just get into the entertainment? Why not? Okay. Um, we want to, we're going to get into the entertainment section because we're going we're gonna to speed this up so we can relax and talk about entrepreneurs. So we're just going to uh, 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 try to stick with the little format, but we're going to have a, a deep conversation. So I want to thank our uh, sponsor, Marvin Tay Records. Uh, lecker, uh, label produced and owned by Eric Sills, our great producer, uh, at Stone Soup Recording Studios in Maumee, Ohio. So any of you singers, musicians, podcasters looking to record in a world-class studio, contact uh, Eric at stonesouprec.com or check him out on Fos uh, Facebook at Stone Soup Recording Studios and like his page. Um, when we were talking about singing, you know who died recently? What was it, James Ingram? Yeah. Yes, that had everybody sad. He's 66 years old. I was just singing his song to my wife just once, the lyrics. I all gave my Disney, all. All the Disney, all the Disney But movies. I guess my all wasn't good enough. <laughs> you know, I, I, I think I said something like that. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, that was sad. Oh, my God. He's a Grammy Award winning. Um, yes. You know, uh, I really loved his sad. duets with Patty Austin. We're going to miss him. You know, man. Um, so that, 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 that happened. Uh, I was, de I was depression. I'm, I'm always watching something. I'm all, I got Netflix, Hulu, uh, Amazon prime that I'm going to get rid of, but I just haven't done it. I feel like that's <laughs> what everyone, and everyone says that it's like, right. How, how did I get, you know, I got sucked in with the free membership Yeah. and then they want to get rid of later. it and then it's like, oh, so well, I it's kind of nice of actually. Yeah. And then pick up all the other. <laughs> I have cable, of course. Yes. And my wife, I said, um, I said, you know what? This cable bill is like a used car payment. Yeah, I got rid she of says, mine. She says, no, it's not that high. $280. Yeah, I got rid of mine. A month? And picked up for a cable? lot of other yeah. subscriptions. Dang. She's like, a month? Ooh. Hey, that's a lot, isn't it? That's too much for cable, I think. Oh, yeah. So I got rid of I, I got rid of a lot of things. There's so much to watch. So uh, I don't have the time. 
<laughs> I was going to, and I don't, and I don't use that fire stick. I know that is illegal. I, I don't litter. <laughs> I don't litter. I don't speed. I don't curse. Well, good. That's going beyond. You, you know what green. I mean? I don't good smoke boy. cigarettes. Right. <laughs> so I mean, there's a couple things that I do, and you'd be like, really? But green hearts. it's only one thing. If there are ten bad things in this world. <laughs> That are bad, I only do one. So I, I think, I mean, that ain't that bad. Pretty mm -mm. good. Okay. Yeah, statistically good. So, all right. So <laughs> I'm not going to steal cable. Let so. Daryl tell it. <laughs> now, I was with the whole James Ingram thing. I was depressed. So I was like, I'm trying to get the motivation to see this movie called uh, The Hate You Give Me or The Hate You Give or something. It just seems, it's you know, it's, it's you know what I'm talking about? No, I mm -mm. don't. It's uh, one of those, it deals with police brutality and everything. Okay. Carmen and Erica definitely know. Erica you. definitely knows because she knows a lot of, she watches a lot of hood movies, <laughs> a lot of urban movies. <laughs> right, right. You know, um, I also am trying to finish oh, the, what? Yes. The Punisher? It, it, yes. You hip to that? No, The Hate You Give did just come back to me. How about to say, you about yeah, to as soon lose as you some say of your points. Hood now, is urban. that on Netflix? Oh, the... <laughs> The uh, hate the, you give. Yeah. No, you have to rent that on Vudu. Oh. So I just watched. Uh, what did I watch? They send you this thing and say, "Hey, if you watch this, we'll give you two dollars off on your next purchase." Okay. So I had to watch the Ant Bully. Huh? <laughs> Ant. They 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 give you a choice. Like I could watch the Wild Wild West thing or whatever with Will Smith. They give you like oh, these no. kind of. You know. <laughs> wow. So I was, I look, I'm trying to save some money. I'm very okay, cheap. I got okay. It. I so got I was like, it. all right. So I watched that. So I'll watch The Hate You Give and uh, that for, for Voodoo. Okay. Now, The Punisher is on Netflix. That's the second season. I'm, I'm finishing up that. I, I enjoy all the Marvel I've heard stuff. heard about The Punisher. So that's good. Uh, I'm watching that before they cancel that. I, I think they're canceling all the little Marvel stuff so that it goes to Disney. Disney has something coming out. Disney something. I forget the name. And all those things are going to go to there. And that's going to be something else I got to pay monthly. Only if mm. you want to, Daryl. You don't have to. <laughs> I got to have right. it. She's right. <laughs> yeah, you can You can find a way, another way. And, I, and I'm also paying for DC Universe. <laughs> That's oh. three ninety nine. So oh are all God. these subscriptions just adding up to the amount of your cable bill? No, separate. <laughs> the cable bill is uh, about $130 now. Okay. That's not bad, is it? That's less than two eighty. I could be having me a that's... used CTS Cadillac with that, with that money. See, I just use my sister's Netflix account. Now, right. now... You're not supposed See, to say that on that's television. <laughs> Now, She's my sister. Well, a lot of people do do that. I think Netflix, you can have three. Yes, you okay. can. All right, so we're not breaking any rules. So no, you we're approve not breaking. Of that. <laughs> I mean, Whatever. I'm not going to say I do it because, I mean, if the police come, I'm going to just point over here. Oh, I'm, great. I, you know, I can't make it in jail. I can't be braiding people or here. Netflix. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Netflix. Wow. Um, so, um, you, you know what? This will be extremely funny. If, if, if Carmen and Erica were here, because you guys won't, won't get this because you don't get my sense of humor. But there, uh, I saw that also there's some good news. There was a technical award given out for uh, these young guys, uh, entrepreneurs that put something together. They, they have condoms that change colors when they contact in, an STD. I think I saw that. I got to get them condoms. Dope. I need those. Why? I, what? For what? <laughs> I'm asking for your wife. Why you got to rain on my parade? Rain? I told you I got my little bag. <laughs> I got my little bag with my toiletries and everything. I can have those kind of condoms in there. <laughs> right. But that is genius. I think it's a great invention. What? Yeah. But I think. I, what would you now, do? By the time like, Whoa, wait turn, a minute. Hold like up. Red, stop. Right? I mean, you're going to jump up and run? I mean, what do you do if it's like red? And if it's like me, most of the time, 98% of the time, it's pitch black dark. <laughs> so I wouldn't see it anyway. Right. So now, I have some technical questions that I think maybe we should just keep off the air about how this thing works. No. So well, is it like, does it change colors, you know, the moment it comes in contact or does something else? It looks like I will have to look that up. We gotta look because it up. I'm, we gotta find out more. I'm, I'm curious. curious. I once I saw once I just read the first part of it. I was like, 
purchase. The headline, got it's it. Time Is there a the Kickstarter? <laughs> it's time to upgrade it. Wow. I mean, yeah, because with technology, it's like, man, right. we, 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 it should we just need say to back yes. away from the. Absolutely. So that was a good thing. Change. So, excuse me, we're going to get into the national holiday and we're going to then jump right into the uh, entrepreneur uh, 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 discussion. Today's national holiday is clean up under your bed day. <laughs> I fully support this. Um, I mean, do I need to explain that every few months you need to clean under your bed? There, there are dust mite communities under your bed. <laughs> I mean, it's only it's, shoes up under mine. Darryl. What? <laughs> and especially if you have pets, which I don't have any pets because I'm black. Um, <laughs> Here we go. But I did hear that if I did get a pet, I would get an Irish setter. I'm an Irish setter kind of guy. I don't know what that means, but it I don't think it's a compliment. Okay. Does it mean? I, it's probably a compliment. I want a, I want a Rottweiler or <laughs> I want a dog that, named Satan or Cujo or something. You see, yeah. <laughs> you, that will, I think I like the first choice for you. No, That's I would. So the, the dust mites are just your pets. <laughs> oh, and, and, I, and I have fish. Or cousins. I also have a fish tank, but... Clean up under your bed, people. You, you yes. wouldn't believe it. You know, it's very serious. Now, I want to get into this discussion. Uh, today's discussion uh, will be how I became an entrepreneur producing kombucha. This is going to, I'm going to have a ball with this because um, I have a lot of questions. But before I do that, I want to turn it over to my girl, Sonia, who came through in the clutch. Talk about yourself and what you're doing. And and uh, I, I wanna I wanna get into uh, entrepreneur and everything on that. How, how, what do you what, what, tell people about yourself? So I am a um, community urban farmer, and I grow food in the inner city, downtown Toledo mostly. Right now, um, I have three lots that we will be developing with a group of women um, that are joining me as far as uh, making sure that we have um, food disparities no more. We have green space uh, in the community that we are spending tons of dollars just to cut grass. And so we need to take these spaces and grow food. We are securing our future and we are teaching children um, as far as uh, maybe kindergarten to 12th grade how to um, grow food, where it comes from, and um, how to be, you know, self-reliant. Um, on top of that, we use what we grow and we create um, products, organic skincare products and different things like that to make you um, be well. Awesome. Awesome. Now, uh, Stacy, please tell people about yourself. Well, I am a native to Toledo, and I graduated from Ohio State University and moved back to Toledo. Um, had a bunch of jobs, traveled a bunch, and then ultimately decided to put some roots down and start a business. Um, and that was four years ago. I started Bucci Mamas. And... <laughs> Yeah, so I'm uh Daryl, don't you want to know how we met? Well, um absolutely. That's that's uh, how. Go ahead, Stacy. Um Will Lucas introduced us. Yes. I yeah. want to meet him. I, I don't I don't you know what? I I don't like him <laughs> and I never met him. But I I He's think a hater. I think I'm, I think <laughs> I why he why he ain't calling me? Why he ain't look He's a hater. Just ask call me and I'll get you through. All right. There you go. You got an end now. Okay. I got you through the Stacey. <laughs> so he, you, you did. Yes. You did. Now, so you, you, you met in, in, in what? She was just hauling ass and, you know, uh, with wholesaling. And I wanted to know, how do we do this? So this is what we're going to talk about today. Now, I'll, um, I got to give a shout out to somebody who's very special. My cousin, Sandra. Uh, Price Turner, Sandra mm -hmm. Turner, Sandra mm -hmm. Price. Mm -hmm. um, my first cousin, she's just like a, a sister to me. And she's uh, 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 in the medical field and she's always trying to 
Daryl, are you drinking water? Yes, I'm drinking water. <laughs> Daryl, it's not the fact that you're drinking water. You need to drink high pH water. And I'm like, okay, now I go buy that. And then she said, okay, Daryl, now I'm drinking kombucha. I said, look, you are not changing the money in this household because every time I'm trying to be cool with you and it's costing me money. I saw this kombucha and I was like, what? I got to buy this. It's, it's not, you know, and we'll get into the price of that. But I, I did the high pH water. I love it. Uh, then I tried the kombucha and I was aware of you. But I was kind of like kind of salty. I think, do they say salty anymore? I think so. Yes. Because I had that Facebook request for two years. Two years. <laughs> but I'm like, why am I buying this in the store when I can support somebody that's local? Exactly. So that's when I went into her store. Now, um, how long has your business been in existence? What did you say, four years? Four years. Yeah. So it was right at the beginning of 2015 when I started... The paperwork and the research and uh, getting all the equipment and stuff together. And then I think our first commercial sales were maybe in April, March or April of 2015. Now, what is kombucha? Because there are people who I've tried to, I've said, you know, there are some people that know, but the vast, there, there are people, this is kind of, New and it's been around for a long time, if I'm correct. It's been around for a long, long time, mm -hmm. uh, centuries. Mm -hmm. um, one of the nicknames of kombucha is the ancient elixir of life. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. Um, so it's a fermented tea, and it, it you make tea um, with sugar, and then you add a, a living culture. So similar to like in yogurt or sourdough bread, it's a culture mm -hmm. of bacteria and yeast. Uh, we call it a scoby. And then the SCOBY. Look at his face. <laughs> I'm just, I don't want her to give out the Krabby Patties. I, I thought she was going to give out the Krabby Patty recipe. <laughs> Look at his so face. So the SCOBY ferments the sugar into the probiotics, which make it a health drink. Yes. So that's, that's the short end of it. It's a gut health. Um, but they've been right, doing I've it for that. centuries. It's not uh, any high, anything high tech. Mm -hmm. uh, it kind of originated in... Uh, there's a lot of different stories as to where it originally came from, but China or Russia is kind of an Eastern Asian thing. Um, and even still today, at like almost every household in Russia, from what I hear, I've never been, but mm. still, I want to go still there. I, I've heard this is a great place. I want to move there. Um, <laughs> are there any... What, what, this is you not did, cold did, enough did, for you here? Yeah. Oh, that's right. My fault. <laughs> I can't wear my turtleneck. You know, I got my turtleneck sweater. Um... What are the health benefits of kombucha? I've heard things about, you know, you know how when something comes out, they, they have all this stuff, you know, it cures cancer, it does this and that. Are, is, is there any truth to that? I mean, I, I have heard it's, it's, this is what, this is the thing to drink. What, honestly, um, what, what are the health benefits that you, uh, um, that yeah. I'm allowed to say. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yes. So I, legally, um, you know, the FDA prohibits any company uh, representative from making like legal health or health claims. So there you go. I can't say it will do this or it will do that. I can say what other people's experience has been. And if I brought better notes, I could cite there's a lot of. Um, studies done in Russia and Europe that do actually clinical studies with it as to the health benefits. But um, for me personally, I've uh, noticed an improvement in just gut health and immune system. So, you know, if you have the good bacteria in your gut, it helps fight off the bad bacteria. Uh, so you've got the immunity boost going on. And then you've also got the digestion and the metabolism side of it too. So... I'm going to be honest. When I went to Cleveland, I had some food poisoning, and I was sick as a dog. And um, I ended up going to the store. A friend, met a, a friend said, you know, you do this, do this, and uh, you need some kombucha. And I was like, okay. So I ended up um, doing that, and uh, a day later, I felt great. Mm -hmm. Miracle. You know, so I do know for a fact that it works. You know, yes. Um, and now it works for me as well, 
But the way my GI is set up, as soon as I drink it, I get like a nice little buzz off of it. Why are you getting a buzz? I mean, I just... It's just I don't know. It's now, now people. you don't you don't made my question move up. I mean, <laughs> does does kombucha? Because because when I brought it home, I do. I feel it now. My son, he 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 looked at it. Doesn't this have alcohol in it? And I'm I'm concerned. What's the percentage? Does kombucha have alcohol? You're teaching him well, right? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um. So yes, kombucha in the natural fermentation process does produce alcohol. Um, we can limit it with the length of fermentation time and the amount of sugar that goes in so that it doesn't produce more than 0.5% alcohol. So that would be similar to like a raw apple cider vinegar or something. Mm -hmm. okay. So yes, it produces alcohol, but it's still considered a non-alcoholic drink. I think I think Sonia's but, putting a little... Uh, <laughs> well, two things on that. Putting a little, little hookup in her. I don't know. <laughs> so some kombucha companies do produce an alcoholic kombucha. So it is good to, to check all the labels and to mm -hmm. know if the kombucha you're buying... Is, for your family. Is, in, is intended to be an alcohol. Sometimes they'll be like 1.5%. Um, some even make kombucha beers that are like 6.5%. Mm. So it is good to read the label. Um, but there is a little thing called the kombucha buzz. And kombucha is a living probiotic. So it's got live enzymes. So it's like... It's That's alive. That's what I'm grooving off of. Yeah, mm. so your body drinks it, and it's like, whoa, this is alive. And your body kind of is like, ooh, I'm invigorated. Yes. So it's like Sonia's just sensitive and yes. in touch with her botanicals. Yes, I can feel it. So wow. I have a couple friends that it's, it's. I can genuinely honestly say that I, I like don't believe euphoria. it's the, the trace amounts of alcohol. It's the it's like it's, kombucha buzz. Yes. Wow. Now, <laughs> um, again, after I met Sonia, and 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 I see, so again, I was aware of you and your business, and I was at a place called what's that place? It begins with a B. You go there and you get these little milkshakes. They're not milkshakes. Balance shakes. the bubble Absolutely. tea. Absolutely, mm -hmm. bubble tea. Yeah. So I was there downtown. Yes. My boss. We were all out and everything, and I look in the cooler. There was your product. Bucci Mama. And I was like, you know what? She is doing it. <laughs> you know? Fun fact, the owner, the one of the co-owners of Balance, uh, Prakash Karumshan Dani, he and I have, had uh, yes. gone to school together since kindergarten. Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> Old classmates. And you worked Shout with them on the Shout out sustainability That is awesome commission. that somebody yes. from that long ago... You're still friends. Most of the people I went to school with don't Full speak to circle. me. That's They're just haters. Like Erica and I, Erica and I, have been you know knowing each other since we were in seventh grade. Really? Wow. Cute. That is yeah. awesome. <laughs> yes. That is awesome. That well, you know. Um, That's what I love about Toledo. Yes. Because I guess it's a local what do they love. say? Toledo's. What do they say? Like Toledo's very small. Like everybody knows everybody. Is that That's true? That's what that means. Mm -hmm. You just yes. within a couple degrees, I think for sure. Wow. So. Speaking of you being in a store, what what was it like the, you, the first time, if you could describe that for me, that you got into a store? Because you, I, I, if I understand correctly, you, you, you've been getting some big contracts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just got into a few Meyer stores. That's what I heard. <laughs> yeah. That congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Thanks. Um, what was it like the first store that you got into? I'm kicking myself for not <laughs> being able to think about what the first store was. I want to say it might have been Black Kite because um, I, I was working out of the Old West End at the time. Um, but, you know, I, I, I wish I could remember and I wish I was more excited because I remember just thinking, okay, what did I mess up? What, what, what are people going to think? What do I need to do better next time? So it was kind of like... It was exciting because I felt like at least I've got the I got the kitchen approval and I had like all mm -hmm. my ducks in a row and I had it in the store. But now it was like kind of just time to hone in on making like the best product I could. Mm. So it was only I feel like it was just the start of a huge learning curve that I've been on for the last four years. Wow, that is awesome. I understand that. that oh is yeah, awesome. just yeah. constantly re And that's how I re felt when I put making it better. the shea butter on your shelf. Yeah. Yeah, cuz like, when I went into your store mm -hmm. and I saw Sonia and I was like, "Oh, 
She doing it. Yeah, she's my first location. Bam. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. And I do t-shirts in my garage. <laughs> no, we, no we're don't. good. No. <laughs> Let's take a look at them, Daryl. Yeah, we'll, oh, we'll consider. No. Um, now, I, um, I, I, I have gone. Now, first off, kombucha is not cheap. Now, if you want to be healthy, um, I mean, you're going to have to pay a little money. I mean, if you go to, I went to Whole Foods and everything, and I was like, oh, my God. This is, but, it, but it costs money to be healthy. And um, I believe I will spend money if it works. If it works, you know, okay. So I went to your location. Get, correct me if I'm wrong with the, the, my wording. You get a growler. Mm -hmm. um, and then... You pay for the growler that has Bucci Mama logo on it and everything. Fill it up. Then when you bring it back, it's it, the price is fairly reasonable compared to going to you know the other stores buying the single of that. Now, yeah, correct. So it's a little bit of a bulk discount, mm -hmm. uh, refill discount that we have at our downtown store. Um, but I am glad you brought that up because that's kind of how I started making kombucha just for myself at home is because I couldn't at the time um, afford to to buy as much kombucha as I wanted to be drinking. Mm -hmm. So I started making it on my own. And one thing I think that um, Sonia and I both have in common is is I do, we both do workshops. Mm -hmm. mm. So, um, you know, they're not free, but we, uh, people in the community can come take a class with us and learn how to make your own tea blends or make your own kombucha or grow your own herbs and vegetables. And that way for people who, who can't afford to maybe spend four fifty for a bottle or get a refill, they can at least make it at home for themselves or grow their own garden. So I think mm -hmm. that's something too is, you know, kombucha has been around forever. Yes. And you have to think that, about this too, Stacy. though, what the, the, the steps that go into making the kombucha, mm -hmm. because it starts from at Sonia Organics and Ottawa Lake Hair Farms and, mm -hmm. and all the other farmers that you deal with, you know, with the sure. local herbs, yeah. because we can brag about traceability factors with the herbs. We know when they're harvested, we know the potency levels. So going into making the kombucha. Yep, organic teas, organic, organic sugars. Teas, mm -hmm. you know, so, so there, there, yeah. <laughs> It's not expensive when you learn, you know, what what you have to put into building this product. Now, right. now, now, let me ask you. Um, you're, you're, you and Sonia are are, are, are training people, uh, teaching people, and you're you are, you're you're show, you're educating them about kombucha, and you're showing them how to make it. Yes. Yes. I do a workshop and you probably get once scoby. every six weeks. You need to go so you could get this live culture and it, you know, grows and grows and it's super cool. Wow. Your kids will love it. Wow. <laughs> it's a little science experiment. Yes. <laughs> now, now my concern, now what, what I really want to get into and um, with both of you being entrepreneurs, how are you, um, how do you feel you're being supported Locally, you know, it's awesome. You, you know, um, if I may, uh, you know, say, you know, I, I have tried being an entrepreneur. Uh, I'm an author and an independent filmmaker and things like that. But what happened was I got into an argument with myself and I ended up firing myself. <laughs> no, but... That's what? a sign of a genius, though, Is it? seriously. Okay. <laughs> yes, I do it all the time. Wow. <laughs> What, I'll how hire, do you I'll feel you. you both <laughs> are being supported locally? Now, yes, if, you, if you're if you in stores and this and, you know, but when you started, uh, how, how, how did you feel the support was? Sonia, please. Well, um, the lane, coming from the lane that, you know, I'm in, um, Growing food was not, you know, re readily accepted. And, you know, um, 
I guess by that, I would mean that, you know, a, a lot of convincing had to come into play with, you know, the benefits of it. And um, I, I didn't have anything to do with it. You know, society basically pushed, you know, urban farming and growing food into a trending lane. Um, I guess I would say as far as formulating products, organic products, um, my product speaks for themselves. And so, you know, getting out into the community, yes, it was hard convincing, you know, um, throw away these toxic products and maybe you'll feel better. Mm. Um, that's one issue. You know, we're dealing with a lot of, um, you know, illnesses that are onset from even just products that we're using on our skin. So it was um, tough. It's still tough, but, you know, we're born for this, seriously. This is this is why we're here. This is a passion. And um, I love my community and my business, Stacy Business, we give a lot, you know, to the community to make sure that everyone understands the importance of healthy living. Now, how long have you been doing this? Um, I've been in business only uh, it'll be two years, June 8th. But I've been making shea butter um, and different products from, you know, stuff from my uh, urban farm for maybe like six years. Awesome. Awesome. Now, what, what are your thoughts, Stacey, as far as uh, support locally in the beginning? Sure. Yeah. I I can't say enough about how supportive um, the Toledo community has been. I, I feel like they've just been my cheerleaders the whole mm -hmm. way. Like. Mm. Yeah, Bucci Mama, you can do it. And yes. um, you know, people call me Bucci, people just call me Booch, and like people are just I feel like so pumped up and <laughs> like I'll send some bottles out even you know, more so earlier on, even on an occasion now we get a few bottles that maybe weren't the best batch or something, but um in the beginning, like there were a few flavors or whatever that I was kind of trying out and people were just like, we love it. It's so good. Oh my God. I just had this bottle. It was so good. Oh my God. And I think it, because like in the Midwest, we're a little behind on the trends, whether it's the local food movement or mm -hmm. health food or kombucha. Um, it was when I started the company, it was new to Toledo and new to Ohio. And I think everyone was just, excited to like have something to to call their own um and being such such a strong like toledo made uh product so i feel like i've just had people kind of mm -hmm. patting me all the way along scooting me it's it's yes. been great we love and toledo. i i'm happy that, that is awesome we love, love giving seriously. back as much as i can and doing workshops and Wow. Yes. Yeah, booch for the people. So, you know, I never <laughs> hesitate. You know, we, we we have that partnership. You know, if I say, hey, send her a text, hey, Stacy, I need you to help me with this in the community, it's a, it's a given. You know, um, our business is, you know, community driven. Wow. Now, I'm, I'm, I, uh, another thing about kombucha, um, should I expect for it to taste good? The first time I had it, um, <laughs> I I I was like, okay, I don't know what he said. you know. You know, I want this to work. Whatever benefits, I, I can deal with something not it's tasting like me. like uh you know tutti frutti raspberry. Mm -hmm. So the first one that I had, I was like, okay, it tastes very uh, acidic. Yes, and um, but I was like, okay, it's cool, and I got some for the family, everything else like that. Then uh, when when I went to your location, it it's not it tastes better. Okay, it's a little easier <laughs> to digest. Sometimes <laughs> when I get it from the store, I'm I'm for real. When I get it from the store, I only drink half of it, yeah. and I drink the other half the next day. Yeah. Now I come home with your uh, uh, Bucci Mama. Not only am I drinking it, my children are drinking it. And my wife is drinking it. Mm -hmm. So, um, and it'll be gone. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, um, I think, I mean, am I, am I, you know. You're so not crazy. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. We can assure you that at least. Um, 
So, like, there are so many different types mm-hmm. of kombucha, and if you factor in everyone making kombucha at home, I mean, there's a million things kombucha could taste like. And the first time my dad had kombucha that I was making, like, when I first started, I, I was like, Dad, you got to drink this. It's good for you. And he's like, are you kidding me? No way. <laughs> so then when I told him I was starting a kombucha business years after that, he's like, you're crazy. <laughs> but, okay, so kombucha... Yes, it's acidic, but if you have if you're used to a really sweet and sugary palate, then it's gonna be like whoa. Right. Mm-hmm. But it definitely is an acquired taste. Um, there's still some trace amounts of sugar, not trace amounts, but residual sugars after the fermentation. So you kind of get the mix of a sweet and sour, but um, acidic things balance the pH of your body. So mm-hmm. lemons and vinegar and kombucha. Um, I would definitely work on getting that taste acquired. But um, we try to make the mm-hmm. Bucci Mamas like a little bit more of a balanced palate. So it's not so overly fruity or overly sour or overly carbonated. We kind of try to go for a well-balanced uh, now, and how along that. with what you said, it, what it also does for you in the gut is to kill... You know, maybe the candida or you know something. That a candida, will, I, I know candida. I I went to high school with a candida. <laughs> I, I know that. I know her. You know, we don't want to feed the sugars. Okay. So it kills the cravings. You know. So. How how long does it take to make a batch of kombucha? If you were making a batch of kombucha at home, it would probably take about 10 days. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. It looks so cool making it. You have to get the kit. You need to go to the workshop. Take your family. Go to the workshop. Get this big living scoby, piece of scoby, and watch it ferment the teas and make your own scoby so you can, you know, let us taste the flavors that you may like. Interesting. Interesting. And um, I, I often post pictures um now that we're friends on facebook you can see it finally (laughs) if you follow uh bucci mama on instagram you can see pictures of their scobies and some of the process and um we're gonna try to get better at documenting some more of of that process but i've got a a scoby i had to put my baby to sleep it was growing out of control yeah yeah they're alive they multiply wow yeah Speaking of multiplying, I'm sure <laughs> our audience wants to know if these two lovely ladies are single. <laughs> and if they are not, how important is it to have a spouse that supports you? Stacy, Are you talking about multiplying offspring? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> oh, um, it's very important. I very have a lovely, lo- lovely hubby. Uh, My husband is also an entrepreneur. Awesome. Um, So, and it's kind of been in his family blood entrepreneurship. So, um, you know, we both can support each other and give each other the feedback that you don't always Mm want to hear. Um, And then, but it's, it's great. And um, yeah, I don't remember the original question except for multiply. Right, right. He made me think of <laughs> multiply. He said think but of But I know multiply. Sonia's husband has always got her back and dropping her off here and there and dropping off a run in and drop a, drop off a basket of shea and so. it's very important to put them to work. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want my spouse uh there. You know, I want I need my space, you know. I want them to support me. You know what I mean? But I might be like, look, I'm going to be in Vegas for like four days. You know what I'm saying? This is business. You You know, I don't want to be here. I want to be with you, but I'm going to be in Vegas for four days. You you know what I mean? Yes. No. But I I, 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 I will say this. Um, With the ventures that I, uh, with with, with what I do is uh, with with writing uh, and and, uh, filmmaking, my wife has never one time said, uh, you know, you really shouldn't do this, or we don't have the money. She has always supported me, mm-hmm. and I so I appreciate that. I, mm-hmm. I'm silly and I joke around, but it is very important because there're going to be days when you're not feeling the best. You know, you're not, you you don't know if this is going to work, and right. you need somebody to say, hey, to encourage you rather right. than discourage you. 
or as my auntie used to say, disencourage. <laughs> I don't that know if that. I don't it means the same what, thing. Right. Now, um, what are some of the challenges that you two have faced, if you're willing to share, with being an entrepreneur? Um, wow. <laughs> I I feel like I'm playing a... I feel like the whole like having this business is like a board game, like an, an <laughs> ongoing board game where you're like constantly having to make these strategic decisions and and so it's just it's it is challenging to constantly be um, making decisions mm -hmm. and sh yes, I have um, a couple employees and my husband and family are all very supportive, but ultimately I'm the one making mm -hmm. all of these decisions and and that can be really overwhelming um another thing that's really challenging is like getting them getting uh a new account or you have a new piece of equipment and you have this thing that you're like oh man this is it like mm -hmm. this is gonna change things and then mm -hmm. it does change things but it's almost like these incremental growths mm. and and so you just gotta like and, and those are the highs, and then the lows. Are, <laughs> <laughs> the lows are like, I mean, it's just there's just like an insane amount of perseverance that's required of entrepreneurs. So mm -hmm. you just gotta know when to sit back and recharge. Wow, that's important. It is, and coming from you know an herbalist world, who have you you know seen coming around on the scene? You know claiming this so you have to stay on your game mm -hmm. being self-educated because there are not a lot of resources out here for herbal studies um you have to um stay relevant um some of the hurdles i have encountered like i said was trying to find um reputable places to get the education um with a lot of holistic um, treatments and uh, protocols out here, they're they're not really regulated. So, you know, it can be someone off in their garage, you know, te having given you an online course and certifying you. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, uh, that's been the that's been the issue right there. You know, and then trying to create something that I can leave behind you know, for everybody else to have something to go to. That's the issue for me. Um, you know, there, there's a few classes to go to to learn how to drop a seed in some soil. Mm -hmm. But, you know. Wow. Yeah. So what advice would you two give to uh, entrepreneurs, people wanting to 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 get into the entrepreneur field and, uh, and uh, to stay the ones that are in that, what what would they do? What do you think they should do to stay, um, to not get frustrated? Tired. I say take the risk. Take the risk. Um, keep going. Make sure you have a nice, strong support system. Um, that's very important. Um, you talk about spouse, but, you know, sometimes it goes beyond that. You know, there's certain certain times I need to pick up the phone and call Erica and say, hey, girl, I need to talk. Mm. And, you know, um, having that support system is is um, is very important. Um, I can text, text Stacy and say, you know, oh, I'm, I'm exhausted. And she'll, you know, tell me, you know, keep going, girl. You know, just to have that is very important. Um Pushing your business as far as giving back. I deal with a lot of local businesses, and I want to, I want to uh, encourage all of my colleagues to give back in some sort of way. Um, the children are in need. We have a lot of homeless children that are uh, attached to TPS after school programming. We have um, a lot of uh, different. You see my logo. <laughs> Girl, I'm all in your eyes. I ain't, I ain't even noticed. I'm, I'm all in your eyes. I saw it coming out. I was like, I wanted to push it in, but I don't. Sorry, you were you like, you were grooving, and I didn't want to like 
interrupt your Sorry. flow. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> but you were making me think very deep about something that I've always said, and I'm going to get uh, urban ethnic here. Uh, speaking from for 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 in a, from a black perspective, if I may speak from an African American, you may. Okay. I've always said that black people are Cadillac first. Yes. Hey, I'm getting ready to do this and do this. They be checking you out. How do you dress? How do you look? <laughs> Does he have a Cadillac? Okay. Now, but if you don't, if you don't, you're like, oh, well, we'll see. Yeah. But uh -huh. as soon as you get that Cadillac, then they be like, oh, hey, man, uh, what Mike did you Jones. do? And then, then, then it's like, I don't need you now. I, I mean, I've, I've already made it. You a hindrance. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Um, other groups, I, I probably are not the same way, but maybe it's because black people look. Like, I can't take any risk. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a yes man. I've been in the company for 25 years. Uh, I would be afraid to, I ain't working on my, I'm going to my own business. I'll be afraid. I, I understand that. I, I mean, I was afraid. I'm still afraid every day. I mean, but you, you can't go into anything like that. You have to, your passion and your purpose is two separate things. You you can say, oh, I want to do this, but mm -hmm. when you have a a mission and a duty in life, that's that's totally different. Those those uh, journeys don't fail. Mm. You know, wow. Now, what 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 are your thoughts as far as uh, what we were reflecting on the the the, the challenges and also yes. keeping entrepreneurs uh, encouraged? Sure. Um, yeah, I in in thinking about this question and and the risk um, <clears throat> for me, I maintained two other jobs uh, while starting the company, mm. um, and then went down to one other job, and and both were were part time. But um, and I guess so. That's kind of what I'm thinking as far as advice is if you have. Uh, a business that you are you're thinking about or want to start, um, you know, maybe it's something you can start out as kind of a part time thing and see if you if it starts showing promise to to be something that is going to be financially viable or maybe it just turns out to be a hobby. Right, um, that's what I used to tell to, people. This is a hobby a, until it pays the bills. Exactly. And they said, "Well, I wish you wouldn't look at it like that because if you keep thinking of it as a hobby." Maybe that's just what it's mm -hmm. going to be. Sure. You know. Mm -hmm. That's true too. Yeah. Yes. Um, but it's nice to have a little bit of money coming in from it before you leap off completely. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, I just... leaped off completely. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had a, you I had that completely. The the purpose and the the passion yeah, was. I did. You actually. couldn't say no to that. <laughs> I was actually pushed into business. Mm. The community, like, we need the shea butter. You know, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. You have to. <laughs> That's another <LLC>. thing. <laughs> shea, shea butter isn't cheap either. But again, if you want good quality you products, to, you, yes, you have to pay for it. And then when you think about it, because I won't get the freeze. swab lotion with shea it butter, it won't freeze. Mm -hmm. that, oh, okay. That's see? why it's freezing because you have water because they want you to come back. And then when you buy this shea butter, it's going to last you for how long, Stacy? It, it lasts so long. My husband and I both use it, and it's like if you have this lotion or something else, you're gonna keep reapplying it because it's not actually moisturizing your skin, mm -hmm. but with the shea, it's like I can use it once a day and I'm good. And, mm -mm. and it, I'm it cheap. Does... I'm going to be cutting that shea butter. That's why, it's, that's why his passion be was it. frozen, girl. <laughs> like blue magic. <laughs> wow. That's you a great point. You can do that point. with your kombucha, too. You know, right. just cut it, add some vodka, add some water, cut it. It'll make it I don't, last longer. <laughs> I, don't, I don't partake of the devil's nectar. <laughs> He's no. drinking it now. Yeah, that, I am. I am. <laughs> wow. So I want to really, uh, I want to thank you, uh, ladies, for 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 giving us this insight and uh, being a part of this show. We're going to move into the conclusion so we can get out of the studio. But I really, really appreciate that, and I hope that our uh, listening and viewing audience will be able uh, to appreciate that as well. You know, um, we but appreciate I'm, you, Daryl. Well, thank you, thank you. But You're I am, welcome. I am honored, honestly, because you two are movers and shakers. And I appreciate your time. I really do. 
Yeah, let's take a picture of him. Right I mean, now. you know, <laughs> you ain't seen your boy since I got a ball here. Right, you, you know, nice. You know, we, we really. We but really I'm thinking about. This. I, I, I'm thinking about growing it back because I saw this stuff on Facebook and they put these braids down and they glue um, it to your head. No. Don't do that? No. And I could have a high tap again? Oh, you should have seen me this in high is, school. Th- this is for <laughs> shea butter. Okay. All right. I'm going to do it then. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay like this. Stacy, can we plug the 14-day kombucha challenge? Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Um, so we're going to need you to sign up for this, Daryl. It's a 14-day kombucha challenge. Oh, I got I got to go to my mother's having, uh, my auntie's is coming potatoes in. Potatoes and yep. uh, potato salad. What date is it? It, <laughs> it my, starts Monday, February 4th, and it goes until February 17th. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're partnering, Bucci Mamas is partnering with Maddie and Bella. They have two locations, one in downtown Perrysburg, one in downtown Toledo. And uh, we're challenging people to drink a kombucha a day, uh, purchased from either Maddie and Bella location for two weeks and just to kind of see if you notice any improvements in your mm. health. Um, a lot of people have New Year's resolutions and it's like give it a jump start after a month. Um, and when you think about it, Daryl, it's not even expensive. You know, you stop and get that. I can't even pronounce the stuff they be asking for at Starbucks. Yeah. Yeah. So just stop that and it's grab. It's so hard because I have my habits. You know, I stop. I get my Tim Hortons coffee. I go to the gas See? station. I get my chicken wings. See? Oh I don't, my God. I don't get chicken wings. I saw them today at this gas. I was like, who comes to the gas station buying chicken wings? Uh, people do it. I it, go to uh, the gas good, station though. and buy Jamaican spice. Wow. That's a plug. But I could do that because, Jamaican I mean, spice. I could do that because, it. I mean, it is something. It, 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 is, it is something that is, uh, that is good. And um, then um, we'll reward everyone who's, you know, contributed their or bought a kombucha every day. Everyone gets a T-shirt and a swag bag and, and we're throwing a free kombucha in there. So. What is a swag bag? You know, Somebody, I was like, walking down the street. and This lady said, you got some swag. And I was like, oh, and I oh, that's around. yeah. You do have swag. You do Darryl. have swag. Do I? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, awesome. when you come into Bucci Mouth, I seen you wearing your full suit, looking dapper. Oh, that's well, how you walk in. That's why in. I had to hide that, in the back. So you didn't even have to do that to get her want? on here. You see how we come? <laughs> well, you know. You see, he he was trying to win you over, Stacey. Yeah. I, I was I, I was just, coming at her with the Cadillac first. Yeah, it's <laughs> true. I, you know? <laughs> and then she was like, you ain't driving no Cadillac. That's a Chevy Nova. But we're going to get into the part uh, where I make my apology, the same poet apology. Okay. And I really do uh, owe an apology to somebody. I was texting this guy. We was going back and forth and everything. And then it got to 9.59, and I just fed, and I just dropped right out. I don't text men after 10 p.m. <laughs> Is that wrong? I don't care what we're talking about. Done. Is Shut this down. men code? Is this like... I'm not going to be texting you 12 o'clock midnight and, and you silly, did you? No, I don't do that. I wish that rule applied. Uh, Women don't, you know, we don't get off into that. Y'all just. You know, no, we don't think think that's hitting on me. You know, hey, Stacy. Yeah. You know, so don't be so sensitive about it. It just okay. depends on the content. Okay. I just, I, and I, I mean, I know he was like, dang. What, 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 exactly. What? Then I got back to him like two days later, you know. Because you was feeling some type of way. I, well, I, and I told my son the same thing. What you doing? Who you texting? If it's a man, don't text At no man after 10 o'clock. <laughs> you know. See what he's doing. Protocol. Right. Okay. Well, so I want to give that apology. Now. Things do good get. Good job. Do get uh, shady after 10 p.m. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, we have a sponsor also, uh, Giovanna, Giovanna Boudreau. She's a blogger and founder of Fit Thick Girls. Fit Thick. And nice. uh, you can purchase her television show. She's actually pregnant with twins right now. Whoa. And she's still going to the gym. If you was my wife, girl, I'd be like, wow. no, don't touch nothing. Listen, people who know me know I am Go girl. an A-plus father. I'm a C-plus husband. But... <laughs> But when my wife was pregnant, I was like, don't, I got this, uh, you know, I, I'm cooking, I can't cook. I went, I, you could have killed her. No, right. but that's true. <laughs> but she's, Giovanna's pregnant, going to the gym, doing all kind of stuff. She always keeps 
the fitness going on. So she's a sponsor. But during this time, because uh, both of you ladies are into health, uh, Erica, this is Erica's little fitness minute. If you two have any encouragement for people health-wise, you're more than welcome to say something, to offer something. Because kombucha gives health benefits. You know, uh, Sonia, your products, you know, it's all related to health. So, yes, you know. I think what's come with both of us is like just a clean diet. Be be mindful of what you're putting in and on your body. Um, you might not see like immediate results, but a lot of, or immediate effects, but a lot of people really do. Um, and just the cleaner, the better. And, you know, find ways to make it, it work into your lifestyle and work into your budget because it's just so important for, for the long term. Mm. health absolutely wow <clears throat> great great um okay so we're going to get into the conclusion of the show we want to thank everyone for helping us achieve almost 800 uh, likes on facebook and over 200 subscribers on uh our youtube channel i gotta update that nice. to like 250 because i think i'm almost 300 <laughs> it's just a hard nice. it's just hard it's just hard but i appreciate you struggle is uh, we appreciate you so we want to thank everyone again for sharing our post to their family with their family and friend. Also, don't forget to uh, subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher. Check us out, and if you uh, give us a great uh, a review, we'll announce your name on the show. Also, uh, don't forget to support uh, Three Kings Clothing, and um, you know we will release this show, I believe, in a day. Uh, uh, a day, and uh, people are really going to enjoy this. I'm looking forward to the response that we're going to get because there's so many people that are uh, venturing into the world of being an entrepreneur. So I really think uh, you ladies, and I want to thank you ladies for giving this support uh, and the encouragement and your personal experiences. I think this is going to be awesome. Thank you, Daryl, for the you. opportunity. Um, any concluding words? And no, we just had a ball. We're just glad to be here. Awesome. I got a little buzz. It's freezing cold. <laughs> I might have to get a ride home. I might have I to get a, a Uber. Here. Is that... Cheers. Hey. Cheers. Awesome. 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 Okay. Well, um, everybody have a great night. Don't forget uh, to take a stand for something. You have an opinion. Use it. Good night, everybody. Good night. Crime. Crime. Let's get it together. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -da. Education. Education. Let's get it together. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. Marriage. Marriage. Let's get it together. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -da. Politics. Politics. Let's get it together. Full circle. Poverty. Poverty. Let's get it together. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -da. Race. Let's get it together. Full circle.